All right, gentlemen, listen up. You see, in this crazy game of love and lust, there's no magic formula, no secret potion, no cheat codes. But don't be afraid, your wingman is here. I'm gonna let you in on a few trade secrets, some insider info, if you will. So buckle up, get ready to take notes. We're about to dive at first into the wild world of attracting women. And not just any woman, mind you, but the kind that make your heart thump, your palms sweat, and your knees weak. So, are you ready to take that leap? to shake things up, and to become the man that woman just can't resist? Hell yeah you are. Let's get this show on the road. Number 1. A Sense of Humor Ever wondered why the class clown always had a crowd of girls giggling around him? It's not because he can juggle erasers or pull pranks on the teacher. It's because he could make them laugh. And laughter, my fine gentlemen, is the best potion of attraction. It releases these little things called endorphins, kind of like a natural high, without the legal issues. But here's the catch. You gotta strike the right balance with your humor. Don't be that guy who's the human equivalent of a jalapeno. Too hot to handle and leaves everyone with a bad taste. Your humor should be like a top shelf whiskey. Smooth, sophisticated, and leaves them wanting more. Show off your sharp wit, but never at the cost of someone else's comfort. Remember, you're aiming for James Bond, not Joker. So be classy, be respectful, and most importantly, be hilarious. Who said being funny wasn't sexy? They obviously haven't met us yet. Number 2. Confidence Confidence is the main course in the dinner table of attraction. It's not about having the sharpest suit, the flashiest car, or, or even the most sculpted abs. Nah, it's all in the attitude, in how you carry yourself. Confidence is that silent roar that tells the world, I am who I am, take it or leave it. But let me clear up a common misconception. Confidence isn't about puffing your chest out and acting like you're God's gift to women. That's not confidence, that's arrogance. And trust me, it's about as attractive as a stick in the eye. Real confidence means you're okay with who you are, warts, quirks, and all. You embrace your imperfections, you own your mistakes, you rock your unique brand of awesomeness. And you do it all with a smirk that says, yeah, I'm flawed, so what? That just makes me real. And let me tell you, there's nothing more attractive than a man who's real. So, put on that confidence like a custom fit suit and watch the world and the ladies fall at your feet. Number three. Kindness. You know that old saying, nice guys finish last? Well, it's time to toss that antique right out the window. In this fast-paced swipe left, swipe right world, guess what's making a comeback? Kindness, that's what. When you display genuine kindness, it's like putting on a pair of x-ray glasses that let you see into a woman's heart. It shows her that you're not just part of the me first brigade. It tells her that you're someone who gives a damn about other people, that you've got depth, emotion, and character. And believe it or not, that's sexy. And just to be crystal clear, we're not talking about that opening the door for her because it's a nice thing to do kind of kindness. Though hey, that doesn't hurt. Oh no. We're talking about the soul deep kindness, the kind that's woven into your character that shows up in your actions, your words, and even in your thoughts. It's about being kind even when there's no one around to impress, when there's nothing in it for you. That's the kind of kindness that separates the just nice guys from the real heroes. And let me tell you, it's the heroes who not only finish first, but also win the hearts. So, in a world full of macho men and bad boys, be the kind guy, because kindness, my guy, is the new sexy. Number 4. Ambition Love your way through life? Nah man, that's kid stuff. Real players have a map and a compass branded into their souls. We take life by the horns and sear it where we want. We're talking ambition here. See, life's a wild ride, and us men, we don't just ride the storm. We're the freaking storm. We've got our sights locked on the prize, and we won't stop till we get it. You might call it tenacity perseverance, or relentlessness. We call it a living. Ambition isn't about putting others in the rear view or stepping on toes for a bigger piece of the pie. Nah. It's about that inner fire, that thirst to be better, do better. It's about grabbing life by the collar and demanding more. It's not about the money, the status, the power. Though those are sweet bonuses. It's about carving out your own path, making your own rules, and damn it, enjoying the ride. And when the road gets rough, that's when the real game begins. It's about dusting off the dirt, bandaging the wounds, and jumping back on the saddle. It's about turning the stumbles into sprints, the falls into flight. It's about owning the game, not just playing it. Ladies, dig a man with a mission, a rebel with a cause. They appreciate a guy who doesn't just drift with the current, but cuts through the waves, shaping his own destiny. Why? Because it reeks of strength, persistence, guts. It gives off the vibe that you got your act together. A man who knows what he wants and isn't scared to bust his chops to get it. Number 5. 
good listening skills. Good listening skills go far beyond just nodding your head to the tune of her words. It's about understanding, empathy, and engagement. So when she's pouring out her thoughts, don't just stand there like some mannequin. Show that you're tuned in, that you're on the same frequency. Use your body language, your expressions, your words, all the weapons in your arsenal. But here's the catch. Don't fake it. Women can smell insincerity a mile away. So when you engage, do it genuinely. Ask her questions. Delve deeper into her conversation. Show an interest in understanding her perspective, her experiences, her world. And don't forget, listening isn't a one-way street. So, while you're absorbing her words, don't forget to share your thoughts too. Open up, be vulnerable, be real. Give her a glimpse into your own world. But remember, bud, listening isn't just about the words she's saying. It's also about the words she's not saying. It's about picking up on her moods, her nuances, her unspoken emotions. It's about reading between the lines, catching those subtle hints. It's about understanding her, not just hearing her. Why? Because good listeners aren't just attractive, they're magnetic. They draw people in, create a sense of comfort, a sense of connection. And that, my man, is one hell of a weapon to have in your arsenal. Number 6. Being Comfortable with Emotion Alright, here's the deal. Being comfortable with emotions isn't about being this soppy, teary-eyed Romeo, petting down love sonnets or gushing about feelings at the drop of a hat. Nah, that ain't it, Chief. It's about understanding, acknowledging, and respecting emotions. Yours and hers. No shame, no apologies. Not that tingling feeling in your gut when you see her. That's emotion. Feel that surge of pride when you nail a tough project. That's emotion. Not that lump in your throat when you lose someone dear. Yep, that's emotion too. Emotions, gentlemen, are what make us human. They're not just some mushy stuff for the weak-hearted. They're real, raw, and powerful. And here's where it gets interesting. Woman, they have this uncanny knack for sensing emotional intelligence in a man. Call it a sixth sense. Intuition or plain smarts. They can smell emotion maturity from a mile away, and let me tell you, it's a major turn on. Signal step, understanding, empathy. A man who's comfortable in his own skin, who can navigate the complex labyrinth of emotions with grace and finesse. So, She's sharing her dreams, her fears, her joys, her sorrows. Don't just brush them off like they're some inconsequential chit-chat. Pay attention. Respect her feelings as you would your own. Hell, respect them more. Not just because it'll make you seem attractive, but because it's the right thing to do. When you're comfortable with emotions, you're not just a man, but a gentleman. You're not just attractive, but irresistible. You become this beacon of authenticity in a world of superficiality. This oasis of understanding in a desert of indifference. And let me tell you, gentlemen, nothing, absolutely nothing, attracts a woman more than a man who's real, who's genuine, who's comfortable with emotion. So, your own emotions, gentlemen. After all, being a badass isn't about suppressing your feelings, it's about embracing them. Number 7. Authenticity Authenticity isn't about wearing your heart on your sleeve or airing your dirty laundry. It's about standing tall with dirt on your boots and fire in your eyes, owning your story, warts and all. It's about laughing at your own quirks, celebrating your own weirdness. You dig indie rock while the rest of the world is tripping over K-pop? Cool. You prefer a quiet night in with a good book over a wild night? That's your jam. You're a sucker for the old black and white movies? Rock on, my man. You see, being authentic isn't just about being yourself. It's about being proud of who you are, of where you come from, of what you stand for. It's about strolling into the room, armed with a wink and a smile, turning heads not because you're trying to, but simply because you're not. It's about being comfortable in your own skin, no matter its color, its shape, its scars. Because let's face it, you're at peace with yourself, you're at peace with the world. And women, oh boy, do they dig authenticity. They're drawn to it like moths to a flame. They appreciate a man who, in a world obsessed with images, chooses substance. A man who would miss the deafening noise of conformity, dares to sing his own tune. Why? Because authenticity is rare. It's precious. It's the mark of a man who's confident, who's grounded, who's real. And believe me, there's nothing sexier than a man who's unbashedly, unapologetically, authentically himself. So, drop the charades, the facades, the pretenses, take off the masks, the armor, the shields, be raw. Because at the end of the day, authenticity isn't just attractive, it's magnetic. It's not just a trait, it's a force. A force that can make a woman's heart flutter, her pulse race, her world spin. So there you have it, seven key ingredients to the secret sauce of attracting women. But let's get one thing straight, it's not about transforming into a cookie cutter Romeo, far from it. It's about becoming the best version of yourself and doing it with the swagger of a rock star who's just nailed his solo. If you enjoyed watching this, like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to tap on that bell icon so you never miss one of our videos. See you next time.